about in this one. Finally, somebody got to say it. So let's go and see what this, this, um, this, um, uh, uh, white woman got to say. White woman got to say. Let's go and see what she got to say. And let this roll. Pre workout is bad for you. I'm an athlete as well. And I know that taking caffeine before a workout really helps because it makes you feel more alert. It improves your focus and attention. It helps you work out harder. But on the long, long run, it has been shown to decrease your performance, to decrease muscle strength. It can cause your heart to go into an irregular rhythm and it can literally cause you to end up in emerge department. There's a new trend where you mix a pre-workout with an energy drink. If you do this to feel your pre-workout, you've reached a high level of caffeine tolerance. If you keep increasing your intake, you could experience anxiety, insomnia, digestive issues, or even muscle breakdown. It could even be fatal. I suggest take a break for a little while. A number of energy drinks and in particular pre-workouts contain things that are precursors to dopamine. And on their own, if you didn't engage in the activity, would cause the release of dopamine to a substantial degree. They do cause the release of dopamine to a substantial degree. And over time, that will deplete your dopamine. So energy drinks, pre-workout drinks, drugs of various kinds that people take to study and pay attention. We talked about some of these for the ADHD episode, things like Adderall, Ritalin, Armodafinil, Modafinil, taken repeatedly over time will reduce the level of satisfaction and joy that you get from the activities you engage in while under the influence of those compounds. I'm not trying to demonize those compounds for their clinical use. What I'm saying is taking stimulants and then engaging in activities that you would like to continue to feel pleasurable is undercutting the process. And inevitably, it might not happen tomorrow, might not happen in a month, but inevitably you will have challenges with motivation and drive related to those activities. <laughs> Thank you. A piece man, that what, 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 is this, what is this about, man? Go ahead and say it, Trey. Go ahead and talk about it, us, because I I'm I'm so happy you found this one, man. I hope we make a lot of people go out of business tonight. So go ahead and go ahead and say <laughs> it. I just wanted to throw the alley oop to the fitness man, um, to the fitness coach. I wanted you to you mentioned it before. Uh you mentioned that uh you didn't agree with it. And I'm more of a natural person anyway. I don't do supplements i don't do pre-workout i don't i don't even do protein shakes for real for real because it's just uh old milk that's lumpy then they take the lumps they dehydrate it grind them down to a powder there's your protein um hmm. uh, so i don't really do protein either you wonder why your protein fight stinks so bad it's, you ain't supposed to be ingesting lactose anyway and that's just old lactose that they refined um amazing <laughs> uh no i just wanted to throw the alley oop you know what i'm saying uh what are y'all takes on pre-workout have y'all ever tried any have y'all ever you know experimented with this what is the thought on pre-workout um i know i know g can speak long on this so i'll start because i'm not privy to to supplements like that. I'm not that far along in my workout journey. Well, I've never dabbled in that. Um, mm -hmm. pre, pre workout to me from what, from what the video was saying, like caffeine is just a no go for me in general. Like I don't do coffee, energy drinks, soda, you know, anything with caffeine and I'm, I'm anti. So y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all sold me already. I'm learning so much. Um, I never took pre workout and I never plan on it. Um, me personally, I, I like to, if I need energy out or some, some kind of st stimulant before I work out, that sounded bad, not stimulant, but I'll eat you know, some. That's what it is. Yeah, I'll eat some, yeah, some fruit. I'll eat, I'll eat some fruit, some natural sugar if I need a little bit of energy before working out. But as um, far as pre-workout, post-workout, I'm not privy to it. I, it's, it never seemed like something I needed. I'm mm -hmm. like, why do I need this if I'm already headed to the gym to work out What? what more can this do for me that my body can't do for me naturally already. So, um, I, the, the caffeine got me, count me out with the caffeine. Uh, <laughs> and secondly, I think the most, the most, the worst I've done after workout, I'm guilty of going to the machine at the 
front of the gym and spending five bucks on a chocolate muscle milk or something like that because that's that should be hidden out. I don't know. That should be hidden out. <laughs> I know it's I know it's lactose and whatnot, but the peanut the peanut butter and chocolate one or just a chocolate one that I'm guilty of it all the time. But as far as pre workout, <laughs> I don't really pre workout post workout. I don't I don't like nothing powdery anyway. So you can count mm-hmm. me out on that. I tell you, um, my experience with pre workout, I um, for one, I didn't know it was caffeine. I knew it was something. Um, my experience with pre workout is I was just, just introduced to it. Uh, I told y'all on uh, another episode of my my crazy ass white boy is what I call him. Um, <laughs> I thought that was his name. That's crazy. <laughs> That's what I call him. Um, he literally like was trying to fill the void in life and he went to working out so like it never was enough like he's always you know, like you know you get on that thrill seeking you get you get fulfillment from a workout and he started to become numb to his workouts to the point where he's doing crazy numbers and i'm watching him like turn pink trying to lift all his weight and like vein, he was bald, veins coming out of all types of everywhere. Like, I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> He's like, man, that shit feel good. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know, bro. So then, like, um, but he was getting results, is the thing. He was getting results. He was getting shredded. He was getting toned. Um, but I could tell that his body was weak. Like you're, you look, you look good. Your body is shaping in, but your internal, all your organs and stuff, you suffering, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you shaking, right? He started soaking, smoking cig. He needs cigs more often. You jittery. You ain't got no control over your fingers and stuff. And I'm like, Man. I don't want all of that, you know. Um, so holding his fingers. Oh, yeah, like he, like he's shaking, like Parkinson's. Like he real, he was real shaky. I like uh, crackhead, crackhead me. That's how people that s- smoke cigarettes for long periods of time when they they don't get their hit, they start shaking and shit. You see it like man, it's that's crazy, the result. Man. Man. You, you smoking fags all day, then that's what happens. You see, uh, I could tell like you know how people put their arm out the window. It's a certain like they got like this. It's stuck like when they had that arm. I don't do smoke of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, stuck, it stuck with the two the two fingers that stuck like this. <laughs> oh, <ladies>. Yeah. <laughs> Sophisticated smokers. Uh but I was introduced to that uh from my crazy ass wise boy. Uh I ain't know what it was at the time. <laughs> I ain't know what it was at the time. Uh he said try this out to get more of a workout in. And I'm like, more? Like, I'm, I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? Like I think I did enough, but he's like, try this out the next time you work out. Um, and I tried it, and I don't like you said, Keys. I don't know. I already don't do energy drinks, energy boosts. The energy my body has is enough. If I need more energy, I know how to rely on myself in order to boost that energy. Um, or sometimes you just need to recharge. You need to go to sleep, and that'll give you all the energy that you need. Um, and what you eat, and all of that, everything that we cover, I know that I have sufficient energy to do whatever it is I need to do. Uh, But I tried this and my heart was racing. Yeah, I got the workout in, but I was like, yo, this, my, the way my heart fluttering, this ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you doing this daily? Like, uh, that was my introduction. I said, never again. I'm good. I I don't need I don't need this. It's a stimulant, and the stimulant is a drug, and I don't do drugs. So I'm like, bro. Uh, Amazing. I can't do it, bro. And and then uh, I'm going to let G take over. But the more that i seen, like how you said, on the, all of the influencers and stuff, they started talking about it as if you need this product, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for if you don't have – a pre-workout and it's like well, it's just to get that boost like you haven't even started and they telling you that you need a boost you need to get started first yeah um yeah pre-workout it, it's a drug it is like crack and it's like yo just in the sense that it's a stimulant and you don't even realize how 
is truly affecting you. Uh, it was interesting to see the guy said listed out say it causes anxiety, insomnia, irregular heartbeat. Like, yo, you want all of that just to be able to get 10 more squats in? No, I'm straight, bro. I just missed those 10. Oh, I could push through. You know, that's that's where you come into play. It's a stimulant, bro. And yeah. Uh, I'm, and I'm to your point, Trey. I'm out on anything that's gonna make my the heart is the one muscle you don't want to overwork. I know, I know, working out is good for your heart, but in the, in that sense, like let me just stick to working out. I don't need no additives to yeah. make my heart work harder than it has to to get my blood flowing and and you know building muscle and all that. Yeah. Plus, I always looked at it as cheating. Like you trying to ain't no shortcuts in life, and we're gonna have to talk about that too. So if you if you jump in the gun to a pre workout, I feel like you're trying to shortcut and quit your and like hasten the process, and it's confused. Like of course muscle confusion, but it's confusing the body. The body doesn't know what these foreign things are, and the way it's responding people are telling you that this is good it's basically like well if you survive then you can do you can do numbers but who wants to put themselves in that <laughs> in that predicament like if you survive like what <laughs> uh, i don't know bro what you think g hey, y'all man listen man uh, i was gonna change my name on here to um to my alias, my, my other side of my personality, to Black Sheep G on this one, because I'm black over there. I'm black. black over there. Black or be black? G, I'm black. I'm black, G black. But I'm going to calm it down a little bit and, and go off with exactly what you said. But I may say a little bit harsher, because you I know you're trying to lean on a little bit. You're trying to be a little nice on that trait, but sometimes you got to apply the pressure on them and let them know. You got to know. Forget that trait. Forget that. Hey, and I hope, you know what? Right now, Hey, go, go ahead, go ahead. Say what you gotta say, Keith. Something about to go off. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I said Trey. Trey, Trey need to talk to the people like he talk off camera sometimes. I know how he can be. Because I'm an equal opportunist person, man. We, we dog. I dog the women on the other side. Last live, y'all check that one out on FMF. I dog the women over there, and me yeah. and Trey had a little tiff on it because I wanted to dog them, but this time. <laughs> I'm going to go off on the dudes because y'all the main ones consuming this mess right here. So I'm going to go off on y'all. You're taking pre-workout because you're soft. You have, just like Trey said, you're too weak to go ahead and take care of yourself and you're using it as a crutch because you know you're too weak enough to go ahead and eat the right foods and get enough sleep and have actually the, your strong enough mind to push through those workouts and you're relying on something else but you know you're just weak in your mind. Mm. It's all a game on there. And you know what? The same weak person that goes ahead and does crack and is addicted to other things is the same weak <laughs> person that need pre-workout to get your workout in. You being too soft on them, Trey, they soft. <laughs> they soft. That's exactly what it is. You're soft. You can't rely on yourself. It's a mental game. Because this topic right here, it is fitness, and I'm glad you did that. But it is jumping to your realm when it comes to the mindset. You're taking it, and you don't really, really need it because your mind is all messed up. Mm. That's the whole problem with it. Everybody got you confused thinking that you don't have enough energy. Like you said, you ain't even start yet. How in your mind you drumming up that you ain't got enough rest and you tired? Where are you getting that from? Hmm. Is it where are you where are you getting that from? I mean, they've been working hard for generations and generations, and all they need no pro workout, and they was working out. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden now, in this new generation, y'all need pre workout because you're soft. That's what you is. You're soft right. enough. You can't. You ain't able to eat correctly because all you do is just eat correctly, and you can get the same type of synthetic. Um, stimulants and pre-workout with just natural foods if you eat correctly and you get enough sleep instead of staying up all night whacking a little Peter Weaver. <laughs> yeah, hey, I said it. That's what you're doing. You're on Pornhub all night and you're staying up and talking to the girl all night and doing whatever. You can get some sleep. But no, you rather stay up and eat whatever. That's going to mess up your sleep rhythm there. <laughs> so then you wake up in the morning, you're feeling all tired, going into your BS job, and you try to go to work out, and you ain't got no time, and you're feeling tired. So you see a little weak person on Instagram or TikTok saying that you need a little magic drink to give you energy to do your little five push-ups that you're going to do, and then leave the gym. <laughs> no, you got to go hard on this one right here, because I've been wanting to say this. And, and everybody that... that 
And everybody that, that, that kept on dogging me on Instagram, on TikTok and everywhere, I said this about two years ago that pre-workout is horrible for your body. I've been said it. I said it's one of the worst things we, we started to, to push in this culture. Y'all remember when they did like the little dry scoops and all that crazy yeah. stuff? Going? And yeah. then what they didn't show, I saw a lot of reports that it was harming a lot of kids. It was putting them in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Their heart rate was going too high, getting heart attacks and all type of stuff. Because it's horrible. It's killing people. Y'all companies are horrible for selling it to these kids. And y'all up there advertising to these little 18 year olds. 18 year olds got plenty of energy. 18 oh, yeah, yeah. years old. Facts, facts. Hey, facts. for real, y'all know y'all was 18 facts. years old. I, I wish, wish I could go back. Miles, have sex with three, back. four girls, go do whatever. And you still got energy in the morning. You got plenty of energy when you was 18 years old. Y'all oh, attest to that. Y'all can stay up all night <laughs> and go do whatever. Y'all got plenty of energy. So why do yeah. 18 year olds and 21 year olds need pre workout? I had four jobs, man. <laughs> exactly. And you was crushing it, right? You ain't no pre workout. You was, oh, you was doing hey. your thing. No, nah, facts. Facts. Man, no, man. This this gets me up and arms in, in the fitness realm where these, these fake influencers, they keep on selling this junk to people because y'all want to make mm -hmm. a few bucks. Right. It's horrible, man. That's why I'm selling that stuff. And That's I vow that even if I have a supplement company and I and not I, I did put on the back burner, y'all know about it. But still, I have one, it's gonna get even bigger. I vow to never sell no crap like that. Y'all are killing people just for some money, man. Y'all know it's not good for y'all, man. I, I hope you chop this up, Trey. Chop, <laughs> chop this up, and I hope we get in trouble with this one. I hope they can hear me. And I'm Cal <laughs> <Workout> Conference. <laughs> if y'all ain't know, if y'all got a problem with what I said about pre-workout, y'all come see me on my channel. I, this, no, I, I, I don't like this, man. Y'all keep on selling this to these fake these people, man, killing these kids. I ain't so, know it was such a pushback on it. I ain't know a whole lot of people had a problem I didn't with either. saying and, that bruh, it was. I had good. so much, I had so much pushback. I had so many comments when I posted that on my um Instagram a couple years ago. They almost I had so many people unfollow me because I was talking about them. Saying y'all weak for taking it. So the pushback was on them. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if we do a deep uh, deep dive into where these products come from, I'm pretty sure it's like they're under an umbrella, right? So the same people that make Monster and Red Bull, they probably the oh, same yeah. people making this pre workout products, oh, yeah. especially if it has caffeine in it. I saw one yep. that had like 400 milligrams of caffeine or something. If you 400, I don't care if it's Miller. Uh, the four hundred is a, a extreme number. I ain't trying to put four. I ain't trying to put four hundred to nothing in me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, man, that's stuff. Like, bro, you don't understand, bro. I, I think that it's. I, I promise you, I think, but they don't show us on on the news or they don't show us. I guarantee there is a high amount of people that are almost dying or, or getting side effects from drinking all these these energy drinks and these pre workouts and all that stuff. Bro, that stuff is not healthy. Like you said, 400 milligrams, bro. Your heart is beating at mm. a ridiculous, like, like, it's going boom, it's going too fast, bro. It's not good for you, bro. This like stuff is not good for you, bro. They're yeah. not, they, I guarantee they're not showing us the real results of this stuff, bro. I guarantee they're not. Like that stuff is killing bread, people, bro. bro. And it's a shame that people, especially, it really get my nerves with these influencers, bro, just to make some money to sell something they know that it ain't good you, for you, bro. You, you said it, though, G. They, they, like, in this salter society, like, advertisers know how to tell get people's emotions and we're in more of a consumer mindset now more so than anything nobody wants to figure things out for themselves microwave and everything everybody wants a leg up everybody like you said trey everybody wants to take a shortcut so mm -hmm. it's it's just this softer society just more of a consumer mindset they'll 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 buy up anything that makes them that makes them feel good feel mm -hmm. good instead of thinking like do i really need this shit and you don't. If you just feel tired, then if you feel tired before you go to the gym and you're getting tired during your workout, your your first thought is, why am I tired? Not, I need something to give me more energy. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. You're supposed to yeah. figure out why you're this instead of trying to find a quick solution right there. Think about it, man. Hey, I did stay up last night. Oh, I should have ate something last night. I should have ate something earlier. It gave me more energy. I shouldn't have had that on four for four. <laughs> Throw them pose up. <laughs> Throw them pose up. Maybe that four for four made you tired. Maybe it was that. You gonna yeah, you gonna yeah. do the four for four and then be like, I'm tired. I'm gonna drink a pre workout, bro. You just putting just bad stuff on top of bad stuff. I mean, you're not making no sense. Yeah. Come on, bro. And not to tell too much of my homeboy's business. I ain't giving no names or nothing. And if he comes across this, you know who he is. Uh, but. It was years later, I think almost like a decade later, I just randomly reached out to my homie. 
Y'all know how I do communication. Just wanted to check in on him, see how life was going for him. He can't work no more. He's disabled. What? He's disabled. And he said it was from all of the shit that he was taking. All of the supplements, all of the pre-workouts, all of the different stuff that he kept on ingesting because it is like a drug and once you get that stimulant it's a high and with that high you're going to keep on chasing it this is another uh side effect of pre-workout because it had got to the point where he felt like he couldn't work out unless he had his pre-workout so he couldn't do the very thing that he relied on to relieve stress to relieve the pressures of the day of everyday life you know what i'm saying because he was not in a good predicament Working out was our means. That's how we met. We met at the gym. Uh, we became bros. And all of that through working out. Working out was his solace. It was his one thing that he had to rely on to give to himself. And he got to the point where it was like he can't even work out good or get as good a workout if he don't have his stuff, his pre-workout and other things. So it, it, it's like it kept increasing. You're chasing a high. So he's like increasing the dosage. And it's like, oh, yeah, that don't even do nothing for me anymore. And I just seen him like, stop. You got to go to the bathroom. I don't know what's happening in that bathroom. You're not you're not pooping, but you're not able to con- you like you're not fun. You're malfunctioning. And after years of this now, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what happened, but he said that the doctor said it was from all of the pre-workouts, all of the things that he was ingesting. It, he he could have died, and he's like in recovery, so he can't even work at the moment. And he's like, "Man, I hate. I feel like I'm a shell." And I I ain't had a heart to tell him right then and there. I told you so, but I was like, "I bet you won't be doing that no more, goddamn." <laughs> Yeah, when you say he's disabled, what do you mean? He's just like par- partially paralyzed, or I ain't, I ain't say he was disabled. I say he like a shell, you know, like being like a shell. So he, 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 his body is very fragile right now in the recovery state to the point where he he mainly relied on physical labor. He can't do any arduous activity. He can't do but so much. Can't lift but so much. Can't move but so much without being winded. Can't dude like bro is like in recovery you know what i'm saying like i was like yo like to the point where he he said he could have died you know do you think you want to do you think you i'm sorry to cut you off do you think you want to want to come up here and tell his story i don't know i ain't that type of social too too early i got you ain't that type of social person amazing (laughs) I would love it though, um, but yeah, man, it, those pre workouts and stuff have side effects, mm-hmm. and it may not hit you in the day, it may not hit you in the month, but it will catch up to you, just like everything else, right? And um, I like that you catered it to the mindset, G. What makes you think that you have to rely on something else to be able to do? what you could do right there and there. Like when it comes to working out, your body is the only equipment that you actually need. Right. And you can do any type of, you could do jumping jacks right there, run in place, run, hell run, jog. Right. You can do a push up, a squat. You could do so many moves right there. Like instantly, like what makes you think that you need to take something in order to be able to achieve that. I, I do now looking at it, I do see that as a, a marketing tactic and um in sales, unfortunately, but I, I do see that as like mental manipulation. Like what the what what made you think? <laughs> uh I, I don't get it, man. 